Ang programang ito ay rated M A T H. Ang kop sa mga batang gustong matuto, maging alerto, talentado at laging handa. Okay, isang magandang araw ulit sa ating lahat. Ako muli si Teacher Ray and you are here in Math Thinker Studio. Kung gusto mong matuto, maging alerto, talentado at laging handa, sabihin mo kaya ako ngayong araw na to. Handa ka na? Sige, pagkatapos ng bilang na to. So, good morning. Our topic for today is solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fraction and whole number using appropriate solving strategies and tools. So, uh, before we proceed, uh, what are the steps in a solving word problem? First, we have to understand or analyze the problem. Kailangan natin sagutin yung tanong na what is asked or what are the given facts. Second one is uh, kailangan natin magplano kung anong strategy ang ating gagamitin. Na yung pangatlo ay uh, kailangan nating sagutin. Okay? I-apply natin kung ano yung strategy na naisip natin. And then kung kinakailangan na check natin para ma-sure natin yung sagot natin, gawin natin siya. Okay? So ngayon, punta tayo sa ating unang problem. Ray spent one half of an hour doing his homework. He spent two-thirds of it doing English homework. How much time did he spend doing her English homework? So, let us analyze the problem. Then, we are going to ask what is the problem as for? So, the problem as for the time of Ray doing his English homework. Homework. So, yun po yung tinatanong ng problem natin kung ilang oras ang ginugol ni Ray sa paggawa ng kaniyang English homework. So, what are the given facts? The given facts are one half hour doing his homework and two thirds doing his English homework. So, what is our plan? Ano ngayon ang plano natin? The problem tells that one half hour is for all his homework. So, yung one half hour daw ay para sa lahat ng kanyang homework. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng subject. Then, out of the one hour, one half hour, he spent two-thirds of it for his English homework. So, dun sa one half na yun, para sa pagsagot ng kanyang assignment, two-thirds doon ay para sa English na homework niya. So, We need to find out what is two-thirds of one-half. So, we use multiplication. Okay, so let us solve the problem. Ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon yung dalawang paraan kung paano sagutin ang problem natin. Ito ang unang solution natin. So, two-thirds times one-half is equal to The rules in multiplying fraction by another fraction is that multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. So let us multiply 2 times 1 and 3 times 2. So the product is 2 6. Now convert it into lowest term or simplify the product into lowest term. How? We're going to find the GCF of 2 and 6. Okay? So, the GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. So, let us divide 2 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2. The quotient is 1 over 3 or 1 third. So, Ray spends 1 third of an hour doing his English homework. Ngayon, Solution number 2 tayo. So, 2 thirds times 1 half. 
Look at this two number. The first numerator is 2 and the second fraction, the denominator is 2. So, ang gagawin natin dito, pwede natin i-cancel kasi pareho silang dalawa. Or, i-divide natin yan, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Okay? So, ngayon, gamitin natin, i-cancel natin ito. And, the remaining number will be your product. That is 1 over 3. Okay? Now, let us proceed to our problem number 2. Last year, Ray weighed 56 kilograms. This year, he gained 1.8 more. How many kilograms did Ray increase in weight? So, let us answer what is asked. Ray increased in weight. What are the given facts? We have 56 kilograms and 1.8 gained in kilogram this year. What is our plan? The problem tells that Ray is 56 kilogram last year. Then, this year, he gained 1.8 more. First, we need to know the 1.8 of 56. So, we use multiplication. To get the weight of Ray this year, we use addition. Clue word is gain. Uh, so, ngayon, let us solve the problem. Okay? First to solve is, what is 1 8 of 56? So, 56 times 1 8. One rule in multiplying a whole number by a fraction is convert the whole number into fraction form by putting 1 as a denominator. So, yung 56 natin ay magiging 56 over 1 times, copy the second fraction, 1 over 8 is equal to. Then, let us multiply. 56 times 1 and 1 times 8. The product is 56 over 8. Next step is simplify to lowest term. Meron tayong dalawang way. Una, pagkuha ng GCF o yung tinatawag natin greatest common factor. Or pangalawa, pwede naman natin siyang i-divide ng diretsyo. So, ngayon, gagawin natin ay division. So, let us divide 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7. Okay? So, ang 7 ang naidagdag sa kanyang timbang ngayong taon na to. And that, gusto mong malaman kung ilan na ngayon ang timbang ni Ray sa taon na to. So, we're going to get the weight of Ray this year. So, yung 56, ito yung timbang niya last year. Idagdag natin yung uh, naidagdag na timbang niya ngayong taon na to na kung saan 7 kilograms. So, 56 plus 7 is equal to 63. So, yan ngayon ang timbang ni Ray sa taon na to. So, let us proceed to our number 3 problem. There are 40 pupils in teacher Rai grade 5 class. One fifth of the pupils are absent. How many pupils are present? So, sa problem natin, si teacher Rai meron siyang 40 na pupils. Uh, one fifth of these 40 pupils ay absent. Ang tanong, ilan daw ang present? So, let us analyze the problem. What is us? The number of pupils present. So, tinatanong niya dito kung ilan ang pumasok na bata. Then, what are the given facts? So, we have 40 pupils and 1 fifth pupils are absent. Yan ang given data natin. Now, anong plano natin? The plan is, the problem as the number of pupils present. And the given data is 1 fifth pupils are absent. So, 
we need to know first the number of pupils absent from 40 pupils. So, kailangan muna natin malaman kung ilang ang bilang ng absent sa 40 pupils. Okay? Then, we subtract the number of pupils absent from 40. Pag nalaman na natin kung ilan yung uh, absent, saka natin isusubtract doon mismo sa bilang ng bata. So, to get the total number of present, so we here, so here, we are using multiplication and subtraction. So, gagamit tayo ngayon dito ng dalawang operation. Okay, so let us solve the problem. First, to answer is the number of pupils absent by using multiplication. 40 times 1 fifth is equal to. First rule, they write the whole number into fraction form. How? Okay, 40 as numerator and 1 as denominator times the second fraction 1 over 5. Now let us multiply 40 times 1 then 1 times 5. So the answer is 40 over 5. Now it's time to uh, simplify our answer into lowest term by meron tayong dalawang paraan. Pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, finding the GCF or pwede nating i-diretsyong i-divide ang 40 divided by 5. So ngayon, nagawin natin, i-divide muna natin sila. 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8. Ito ngayon ang bilang ng absent na pupils. Now, the number of pupils present, aalamin na natin kung ilan ang present na bata. So 40, ito yung bilang ng uh, klase ni Teacher Rai, isubtract natin dito yung absent na walo. So, 40 minus 8 is equal to 32. So, ito ngayon ang bilang ng pupils present. So, uh, dyan na naman nagtatapos ang ating uh, aralin sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Rai saying thank you for watching and God bless everyone. See you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more updates. Paalam!